Sexy Red, man, straight out of St. Louis. Uh, she's currently turning down $40,000 features. I bet she got HPV. Y'all, we haven't even fully survived the last pandemic, and we about to get hit with another one, but this time, it's a wave of STDs. Y'all, everybody on these streets just be wilding and distributing STDs to each other. From old stars to rappers, everyone is hooking up unprotected. Now, in case y'all didn't know, Charleston White has been talking about Sexy Red for a long time now. He has exposed her and accused her of having numerous STDs. Everyone thought he was just some old dude who needed to take a break, but y'all, he wasn't wrong at all. Y'all, everyone's eyes immediately moved to Sexy Red and Gucci Third Leg, as they have been seen together for a while now. Also, Gucci has been on the news for spreading STDs around like confetti. The OF star, Gucci Third Leg, has been consistently accused of infecting numerous women, including Sky Bree, Tiana Trump, and now Sexy Red with various STDs. The adult content creator, Gucci, was accused by Donai Davis, who went live on IG, and also granted granted interviews to expose Gucci's health affairs and how he infected her with HSV2 when she was 19. Now, according to her, she got laid with Gucci and didn't do proper research about his health status only to find out that he was sick. She said she feels her life has been ruined by Gucci. She alleged that this was his pattern with other women as he went around distributing STDs to his partners. Now, Gucci went live on IG with Aden Ross to show his test results to the public. According to his results, he tested positive for HSV1 and not HSV2 as Donai accused him of. However, fans noted that the results he showed were from last year and a lot could have happened within the space of months. Y'all, the streets didn't buy his sappy HSV1 story and called him out for it. When Aiden asked for his HSV2 results, he fled and never came back to show them. Y'all, a few days ago, Gucci shared a statement on his ex apologizing for not being transparent about his health status before meeting these women. He said that he has become an advocate for safety and transparency and will do better. Chile, what happens to all them ladies he done infected with them, HSV? Now, these allegations against Gucci brought Sexy Red into the spotlight because fans knew they were hooking up for a while. With the backstage passes and intimate selfies between both of them, it's no telling that they had something going on with each other. However, Sexy Red was silent and said nothing about the allegations for a while until they became hotter. She went live on her IG to debunk them rumors and said, why every time y'all see me with a ninja, y'all think I'm effing him. Like, can I just chill? God, I'm a grown-ass gangster superhero. Leave me alone. Y'all, Sexy only said she wasn't dating Gucci, but that don't mean she ain't got them STDs from him. This wouldn't be the first time Sexy's health details are known to the public as she confessed that she has had STDs from her former intimate partners. It's about to be an STD pandemic in the industry. Some of y'all have dropped your two cents about the situation, like this person who said, this man then gave probably hundreds, maybe even over over a thousand women herpes, but want to put out this whack statement about advocating for sexual health. They need to sue his AZZ to the white meat. Well, everyone not only be getting wild, but also getting sick in this industry. What do y'all think? Will Gucci get behind bars for this? Y'all stay tuned for more hot tea.